in question number eight. Um, as a student accountant working at a part-time summer job, you have been given the following information for one quarter of time. Okay, so we have sales given to us in dollars. We have fixed costs given to us in dollars as well. And we have total variable costs. And then we have our capacity, which again is all in dollars. So whenever this happens, okay, so one of the things uh, that sometimes students get stuck on, because they don't have the selling price and the variable costs, uh, they don't know how to set this up. Okay, so now one of the things when you do notice that you only get money amounts okay, so or dollar amounts with regards to the sales fixed costs total variable costs and so on you know you can right away assume okay to make your life easier that the selling price okay is just a dollar and once you have that so if your selling price is equal just a dollar that makes life now a lot easier because we can do ratios okay in comparison from the costs to the sales to get our variable okay so costs and we'll do that shortly so let's see what they ask so they want to know the equations for total revenue and for total cost. So for this one, we have, so let me write it in. So total revenue, we just said is gonna be $1, okay? And that would be times the volume. And now for total cost, so we know that it is fixed costs plus our total variable cost. However, this is variable cost times X. So how do we get this variable cost? Well, when you know the sales and you know your total variable costs, so you can create a ratio between these. Okay, so that ratio, if you take total variable cost divided by the sales that we have, is going to give us, so this is 49,000 divided by 135. So what does this equal? So when I substitute that in, so I will get so 0 0.36. I will keep a few of them, okay, because I don't want to round too much here. Okay, so I'm going to round it to basically 6 decimal places. Now, what does this number represent? So this number, okay, so represents that. So what I'm going to do here is, so your total, sorry, total variable costs, so let me just correct this. So total variable costs, okay, over sales, equals. Now remember that total variable cost okay, is variable cost times x and sales is your selling price times x. So your x here cancels off. So you have now a ratio between variable cost and selling price. But 
what is selling price? Well, selling price, we chose it to be one dollar. So if you substitute a dollar there, this just simply equals now variable cost, which is 0 0.36 and so on. Okay, so now you have your variable cost, which means your total cost is equal to, so we know our fixed costs, plus, okay, so this it's a small amount because we are relating it to one dollar. Now we could have made it a hundred dollars or anything else. One is just convenient for the selling price. Okay, so two nine six three X. Now we have our total revenue and our total cost functions. So again, remember that if you choose a dollar then all you have to do is find out this ratio in between. All right, so that was part A. Now for part B, we want to find the break-even point in units and in dollars and as a percent of capacity. So. Well, so our total revenue equals to our total cost. Okay, if we want to make things to break even, well, total revenue is 1x. Total cost is 41200 plus 0 0.362963, okay, so x. And now we're going to solve this equation so I can bring this to the other side. And we're going to get okay. So when I bring it over and subtract, so I will get here okay. I'm going to get 0 0.637037 x equals. And now I can solve. So I can divide this out. And I get six four six seven four point four two. Now so this is both in dollars and in units because we chose one dollar to be the selling price. So that's our break-even point. So it's around 64,674. Okay, so this is in dollars okay, and slash in units, assuming the one dollar selling price. Okay, so that's B. Now, in terms of getting it as a percent of capacity, well, we know capacity was 185,000. So percent capacity, in terms of break even, so we know that breaking even was 64674.20 divided by 185. Okay, so times 100%. Okay, so I'm going to just round it to the 1, so it's approximately 35% of capacity. All right. So now I'm going to put an extra page here for myself okay. just so that I can continue on. 
Now we want to draw the graph. Okay, and have it all labeled and we want it. So notice it says that the x-axis we want as a percent. So we want everything in terms of percents. Okay, so we have, so let me draw this out. Okay, so I have this. Okay, so that's my, so this is supposed to be percent. So maximum is 100%. Okay, so this is of capacity. This is at zero. Okay, so percent. Okay, so what do we have now? So if I now take a look at this, okay, so we have, so 35% was the break-even point, approximately here, so that was the break-even point, okay, so we know, so this is our limiting max capacity we can get, and now it's a standard, okay, so derivation, so we're going to that's our total revenue, okay, so that it's growing at, and then our, so fixed costs, so it's going to be somewhere, okay, along here, that's our total cost, okay, so notice that, okay, so this is our break even right there which means we're at a loss right here and we are at a profit okay, as we pass the break even point and this is our fixed cost right there okay, and we can put it in dollars if we like and there we have it all right so thank you for watching and that's it